Good morning. A lot of you probably know that last week at this time, I was driving back from a vacation on the Gulf Coast. I was towing my boat back. The drive back took us nine and a half hours, a trip that normally takes seven or seven and a half hours. That was caused by a lot of construction and several accidents. But that trip back caused me to notice how a lot of other people drive. And take it from me, I'm very critical of how other people drive all the time. But I drive with cruise control. And I'm going down the interstate, my speed does not vary. It's locked on. That cruise control drives for me most of the way. I realize when I come up alongside somebody to pass them, inevitably people will speed up to keep you from passing them. And I guess it's an even bigger insult if somebody's passing you this toe in the boat. So they'd speed up and I'd pull in behind them. I'd look over at Kitty and I'd say, you know, I'll bet in five, 10 minutes, we're trying to pass that person again. And then there are people that pull out in front of you when you're going and they don't go. They just pull out, pulling out from a side street or pulling out from behind somebody and they don't accelerate to get into traffic. They don't know how dangerous that is when you're towing a trailer behind you because you can't stop in the same distance that you would normally stop. But it's like they don't care that you're going down the road at 70 miles an hour and they want to pull out going 50. Like they have the right to do that. They may have that right, but it's not very nice to do that to somebody. But you know, when it came up on a construction site or an accident, inevitably, they would close one lane of the interstate down. And for a couple miles before that, they would have signs that said, left lane closed ahead, merge right. Left lane closed ahead, merge right. You know, a lot of people, when they saw a hole, they would merge over to the right and get in the right-hand lane. But then there are those people that drive the left-hand lane right up into the end and then try and force their way into the right-hand traffic. That tells me a lot, but you know what that does when they try and force themselves in? Everybody in the right lane puts their brakes on, runs up on the back of the car in front of them. Everybody in the right lane that's been doing what they've been asked to do has to sit and wait for these people who keep slowing down traffic and make them do that. They have no respect for those people that are in the right-hand lane. It's like they think they are better than the people in the right-hand lane. And I ought to be able to drive up there and get ahead of all of you people that have been obeying the signs and trying to cooperate to keep traffic moving. Occasionally, a trucker will pull up and they'll run side by side to keep these people that feel like they have the right to jump in front of everybody from running up there. And I know, those of you that know me have known me to run up in a left-hand lane before and cut over. But I start thinking about how disrespectful that is to the people that are in the right-hand lane. Sure, I will get there quicker, but all these other people are gonna to have to wait on me. And a lot of us will think, well, they're just dumb. They should get over in the left-hand lane and run too. But it slows down the through traffic. It's a very selfish position. When I got home, I noticed the same thing around Providence Mall. Not that people run up, and they do. They run up in the right-hand lane and try and cram in right before it goes to from two lanes to one. But I have never seen an epidemic of people running a red light and blocking the intersection that I see now at Providence Mall. Mount Juliet police could fill their ticket book in any afternoon that they wanted to with people running a red light. It's not okay to stay on the bumper of the car in front of you and just keep going when the light turns red. You're supposed to stop and let the other people go. And they block the intersection so that when other people have a green light, they can't go because these people that are trying to get through that intersection on a red light have to stop and block the intersection. They have no consideration for people who come in the other way who are waiting their turn to get through there. Why not obey the traffic laws and respect each other? Don't put your interest ahead of the other. Sure, I can get home maybe two minutes earlier if I go through that red light instead of stopping and letting the other people get through it. But those people that are sitting there waiting, they can't go. They can't get through. They have to wait for me to get out of the way. See how selfish that is? I want to read a scripture 
from Philippians chapter 2, first four verses. If you have any encouragement from being united with Christ, if any comfort from his love, if any fellowship with the Spirit, if any tenderness and compassion, make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and purpose. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, but in humanity, consider others better than yourselves. Each of you should not only, should not look should look, excuse me, each of you should not look only to your own interest, but also to the interest of others. Be safe. Stay well out there.